In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to stop getting shedded by inside stuff in Man 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel is basically designed to try to help both of us get better at the game. Uh, to be honest with you, um, this helps me get a lot better by doing videos like this. And I believe that it also can help you uh, improve. And so if that's something that you're looking for, if you're looking to get better at Madden 21, that's really the goal, try to help you make more coins, help you win more games, and help you have more fun. Um, if you're looking for something like that, I want to encourage you right now to subscribe. I also want to encourage you to text me your Madden questions. My cell phone number is in the top left, 812-216-3644. And if you don't feel comfortable, just text me. Um, another thing or another great awesome opportunity for you is to jump into my community Discord. You can do that by clicking that link in the description of this video. That's also a great place to get multiple levels of input, not just from me, but from my entire community. All right, guys, I wanted to do a quick video because I feel like, um, and we're going to use the Packers to kind of illustrate this. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to come out in just nickel 55. And I want to show you, this has been a common theme that I'm hearing, um, or and honestly that I'm taking advantage of. And that is if you run inside zone, let's say you run inside zone from trips. Let's say you run inside zone from spread. It doesn't really matter where you want to run it from, right? Any inside zone play, because Kenny Clark has this special ability it's going to allow him to play this run better. He has what is called inside stuff. The inside stuff ability will allow him to consistently shed, for the most part, against any inside zone type of run play. That's inside zone, that's dives, interior runs, basically. Right? You can, and I'll show you another example here, real quick. So if I ran from, um, if I ran from the single back. Uh, maybe I run from the single back and maybe I run the play inside zone split or even HB slash fake in around. But we're going to focus here on inside zone split. What you'll see happen um, if I come out in this nickel three through five wide, you know, or really any defense that has Kenny Clark on the nose guard. Watch, he's going to get an instant shed and he's going to be able to play this run really, really well. And sometimes he'll literally just leave the um, leave the opponent in the dust. Part of it's because I think I have a pretty decent offensive line here with the Cowboys. But you'll see eventually he'll get what is called an instant shed, instant win. But he just doesn't he he doesn't do as well. Uh, I'm going to show you one other formation. This is primarily important when you're in the red zone, um, because when you're in the in the red zone, if you're trying to run like fullback dive or you're trying to run like HB dive, it's not going to work out too well for you. So I'm going to show you here out of pistol. Now I'm going to come out in full house. I'm just going to call out and halfback dive weak. And you see there, there's the instant shed that I'm talking about. If you run in, if you run a dive, either dive weak or dive left side, what you'll see is consistently he'll shed and he'll blow it up. That's what the inside stuff ability does. And depending on the formation you come out in, the better or worse it's going to be. As you can see here from Full House, is pretty good. I want to show you one little step that you can take that is going to basically negate this ability. And it's really, really good out of like the 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 um, the Arizona playbook. It's also really good out of the Ravens playbook. It's really good out of any playbook that has a lot of read options. Because literally that's all you're going to do. Just call read option. I'm going to come out and lead read option. What you're going to find is, I'm just going to read this with Dak Prescott. But there's, there's going to be, you see how he doesn't shed. Notice how he doesn't shed there. And I can playmaker this and run it the other side. And you'll see he won't, he won't shed. Now, I do have to make the right read uh, with Dak Prescott right but large part he's not going to shed and it's going to give you an automatic two to three yards in a in a short yard situation i find this to be really 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 important um another way that you can do this i want to show you another formation that i really really like to run um we'll show you this one more time here but you see how this is a really good short yardage play because if you make the right read with your with your quarterback you're going to get this. I mean, you're, you're going to get this. There, I made the wrong read, obviously. But this F lead read option is really, really good short yardage play. Uh, I find this, like, you're going to be able to get a yard or two. You just are, with the way the blocking works in Madden 21, I'm telling you right now, you're going to be able to get a yard or two. What I want to do real quick is I want to show you this from another formation that's very popular um, that I like out of Arizona, and it's called the Gun Up Open Flex. We're going to set that HB... Um, 
HB pitch, HB toss here, and then we're going to set the um, the RPO uh, plays. And and basically what you're going to see is if my opponent comes out in any type of run D, he's got Kenny Clark there. Watch his inside stuff ability is going to activate, and you can't run the ball. If I run if I run that HB dive, you're going to see that literally he can't run the ball. As you see, I mean, I can I can get it in, but it's just not going to be as consistent. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to audible to an RPO. And what you'll see here, snap of the ball, and I'm able to now run the ball. His inside stuff will still activate a little bit, um, especially if you're running just an RPO. But because we're running this RPO flat, you see how we're able to get out there. And now we've turned a two-yard run into a house call. To me, this is a really significant tip. RPO, and, I, and, I, and it indicates a larger issue in Madden. RPOs are really, really good. Most people run RPOs to throw the ball. Most people run RPOs to literally just throw the ball and, and get yardage. What I want to suggest to you, run RPOs to run the ball. Run RPOs to run the ball. Read options and RPOs this year are going to help with this instant shed. You see that he's going to shed, but he's literally going to take himself out of the play because of the fact that there's a pass play attached to this. He's not going to make most. Of, he made the play right there. Most of the time, he's not going to. Most of the time, he's not going to. Um, and then, you know, if they're crashing down, you can easily hit this HB pitch. But to me, this adds a new layer, a new layer um, of something we've never really had before. The ability to, you know, really kind of beat most run defenses with RPOs this year, running the ball. I've got another uh, tip with that, that actually it wasn't me that found this out, but I certainly have applied this tip. Um, if you run, if you have a mobile quarterback like Dak Prescott, for example, if I were to run this RPO, what I could do is let it let it kind of go and basically run with Dak. You know, basic basically I can run with Dak as well, and this is a nice little uh, little feature. Now again, it's not that great from this formation, but there are other formations in this game that this is really 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 good with. Um, but you see here, see how he kind of runs himself out of the play. This is how you can really abuse that ability, in my opinion. You're going to see it a lot online, especially in Dial 146, Nickel 335. People will be running inside stuff. Yes, I do agree that 01 Trap is, is really good. But for those of you that don't have that in your playbook and you still want to dominate it, this is a really, really good method to do that. Just call Read Option. Read Option this year is really, really, really good. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to put this on your radar. Um, all of these plays that you saw today are from our little snippets and pieces from my Madden 21 competitive guide. I just had a coaching session on the guide and literally it is amazing how those coaching sessions are helping people get better, helping people take their game to the next level. So if you haven't signed up for a coaching session yet, you can sign up by clicking the link in the description of this video. Also, if you haven't picked up the ebook yet, it's a comprehensive full offensive and defensive ebook for you um, and that is also in the description of this video it's a one-time purchase and you get several updates to that guide we're actually getting ready to update it uh, this week and it's getting a pretty significant update as we've been consistently adding new layers to it so it's a really really deep and really really comprehensive ebook i think it's going to help a lot of people if you haven't picked it up yet i really want you to consider to pick up that guide trust me when you really commit to something and really commit to educating and learning this it's going to make your game that much better so pick up the guide and we'll see you tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern for our nightly live stream where we play madden live See you there. There's some more videos that we're going to pop up on your screen here that you can check out. And we'll also have um, another video coming today on the channel.